Hello, everyone. In the spirit of my attraction to offensive humor, I bring you today's video about Vivsy Pop's wildly popular new animation, Has Been Hotel, and its associated shorter episode, Hell of a Boss. Now I warn you, this video does have both review elements and commentary on critiques levied at the project, so you have been warned, spoilers are coming. The brief overview about this animation is we, the viewer, follow Charlie, the daughter of Satan and Princess of Hell, as she is trying to push a passion project of rehabilitating sinners through the Happy Hotel, which she runs along with her aggressive but well-intentioned girlfriend, Vaggy. However, most of Hell is pretty content with being the scum of their former selves, now with demonic bodies to represent their former behaviors and slash or causes of death, so the vast majority find this concept laughable at best. That is until she is visited by a strange demon known only as the Radio Demon, who is as conniving as he is powerful. He offers to help Charlie in her passion project to sate his absolute boredom with the goings-on in hell, or so he says. That is the back-of-the-box description for you all, but what is most important is, although this isn't an animation and YouTube's policies would lead you to believe that animations are for kids, this is definitely not one of those for kids animations. And were it a different time on the internet, this is the kind of stuff I'd expect on the front page of Newgrounds. It's edgy, it's clever, and most importantly, it's offensive. Now, before any fans jump on me for that assertion, let me explain what I mean. Throughout the pilot, the jokes are what one character, Angel, so aptly describes as problematic language. Even certain characters are themselves the butt of several jokes throughout the episode. Since we are on the topic of Angel, formerly known as Angel Dust, and known as a porn star in hell, the effeminate, maybe male character, not really sure, he looks like this, so it's a bit ambiguous, but they referred to the character as he, so I'm gonna go with male. He is at one point pejoratively referred to as Drag Show, which apparently is offensive, I personally was not aware, but sure. However, Something of note to the characters in general is that they are firmly aware and accepting of who they personally are. Angel has no qualms about making sex jokes, crude comments, or half offers for sexual services. That being said, it does not mean characters do not take offense. Vaggy is a prime example. She takes offense of Angel making a comment about not getting her, quote, taco in a twist, to which Vaggy indignantly responds, was that your attempt at being racist or sexist? Angel replies, whatever pisses you off more. Interestingly enough, besides that character, not too many other characters actually take offense to the things going on around them, to the extent that we the viewers would understand as an I'm offended moment. So let's talk about why I bring this up. Well, as it turns out, as with anything created in art, animation, drawings, or otherwise, some people took offense to the pilot of Has Been Hotel and wanted to be extra sure that people knew this was a problematic show. One person I watched in particular, P.K. Russell, made a 30-minute response to Has Been in the title Has Been Hotel is Not Great review. One of the quick things that he says in this video, as always, it's linked down below if you care to look, at 2 minutes and 3 seconds, he makes the assertion that immature humor is questionably juxtaposed along mature topics and that this show's Has Been doesn't feel right in its current form. Basically, the argument is that a cartoon death is indicative of juvenile humor, and is therefore aimed at children. This is an oversimplification of his point, but that is essentially what he grasps at. Now, I take extreme issue with this because let's call sex jokes immature humor. Obviously, people who make those kinds of jokes are at times told to grow up, but ironically, it is not for children to make these kinds of jokes. So what is actually juvenile about it? Could it be, perhaps, that even adults can enjoy slapstick kind of cartoonish humor? Well, of course it is. And to not make this a response video, I will end talking about this person in particular in order to explain more about what I mean. Let's take South Park, Family Guy, as examples of cartoons with adult themes. Are kids going to watch these shows regardless of what their parents say? Yes. Are they going to get all of the subtle nuance? Absolutely not. Let's use an older example. Tom and Jerry and the entire Looney Tunes cast of shows used to be cartoons made for kids with some really questionable moments in which, subtly, Warner Brothers would drop adult little gotchas so that the adults watching could be like, oh wow, this show actually has some commentary here. 
I don't mind being forced to watch this with my child because they want to watch TV with me. Now, of course, that is a kid's show with adult themes thrown in. Has Been is an adult show with kid themes thrown in because, let's be honest, we as millennials are still pretty childish. If I see one more goddamn post on Facebook or Twitter about how someone doesn't know how to adult properly, my clock resets and we continue this spiral. The thing is, we have all been kids already. Some childish things to adults are funny. That is not some greater commentary on our society, that's just the truth. And it's okay. It's okay to find Three Stooges slapstick-style comedy funny. But that is so painfully specific when criticisms are levied against has -been Hotel that I, I felt I had to address it. The other thing, of course, is quote-unquote blatantly homophobic characters. At one point, a news anchor, Katie Killjoy, refuses to shake Charlie's hand because, and I quote, I don't touch the gays, I have standards. To which Charlie responds, yeah, how's that working out for you? As the camera pans up to see a huge billboard that says Hell's Number One News. People were outraged at this on Twitter because, based on their argument, it normalizes homophobic behavior, actively ignoring the fact that the very next frame is the animator saying, these people are bad in big, bold neon lights, and also are in hell. Shocker, bad people, in hell, weird. Counter to popular belief, people who are not homophobic, or people who are respectful to one another, without regard to the various identities they hold, they probably wouldn't end up in such a setting. But I mean, hey, what do I know? I've never been there. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about before ending is the commentary on acting. Some individuals have made the overacting an issue. Listen to me very carefully. Characters in this cartoon are caricatures, some of which are done to set tone, or to easily set story arcs, or to simply be a trope for humor's sake. Serpentius, for instance, is your stereotypical 1940s cartoon villain. If he had facial hair, I'd imagine he'd have a handlebar mustache. And he has goons that call him boss with that stereotypical henchman accent. It's a character. Now, the people who are complaining are saying that the overacting yields more to a childlike audience. We're getting the fact that literally Simpsons characters are all caricatures of real life. Literally, it's a non-issue. People need to get over themselves. But in the end, I loved this animation. I didn't get to talk about Hell of a Boss, but if people liked this video, let me know in the comments down below. But again, I loved it. I laughed. I am excited for the new episodes coming out. I do consider myself someone with dark humor, who is willing to laugh at himself, but most importantly, I appreciate the work that has been done here. Vivsi and her team put in a lot of work, and they deserve to be commended for the effort they put forth to make a cartoon on YouTube the length of a TV show, and have it get this much raving support, success, and subsequent criticisms. Hats off to you guys. I can't wait to see what's next. That's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to share and sub if you haven't already, and I will see y'all soon.